What's up you guys? Today we're going to be talking about <gasps> missing your birth control. Since this isn't the funnest topic, I try to be a little festive with it and I dressed up like a period. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I am talking about this because it's something that I did a lot of research on because I am that person that forgets to take it all the time, <laughs> which is not good. I'm better now. Set a reminder, that'll help you. But um, so because I already have done so much research and talked to a couple doctors about it and what to do, I just wanted to share with you guys in case some of you guys freak out sometimes, um, just let you guys know what could happen when you miss it and what to do when you miss it. So it is going to vary on what kind of birth control that you do have, um, but usually for most of them you'll just take it as soon as you remember. So let's say you take it in the morning at 8 o'clock every day. If you don't remember until 12, 1, maybe 6 o'clock that night, as soon as you remember it, just take it. Sometimes you forget an entire day, you wake up the next morning and when you're about to take it, you realize, oh my god, the other one is still in the pack, I forgot to take yesterday's. It's okay to take two the next day as well at the same time. However. If you do this for two days in a row, on the third day, do not take all three. You will get sick. I've done this multiple times and you do not want to go through it. Trust me, it starts to feel really weird. I'm going to feel nauseous. I've thrown up a couple times. I've, I've done it a couple times. You do not want to do it. Um, it is okay to take two the next day though. If you do miss a day, just make sure that you stay on track from then on. Usually you should eat before you take any type of pill. But I know some people take birth control as soon as they wake up, and it's usually fine. Um, if you do forget it and you're going to take two the next day, um, then definitely make sure that you eat before because sometimes some people are very sensitive and even taking two at the same time could kind of make you feel weird. So I recommend eating before you take two in a row. So if you miss your birth control sometime in between the month, then usually your body will just go right back on track as soon as you take the pill again and you're, you're good. However, you do not want to miss the first pill and you do not want to miss the last pill. Those are the ones that really show your body, um, telling your body that it's time or it's time to get my, my body like going back to normal. So those are the two most important pills. Those ones could kind of mess you up if you do skip them. I've also done that a lot too. I've skipped like two in the first, like the first two pills or the last two pills. And that's definitely not something you want to do. Um, However, if you do, it will cause you to be late, so don't automatically think you're pregnant. I mean, you could be if you know, you're know you doing something, you forget to take your pills, it's always a possibility. However, if you do forget to take the pills when you're supposed to, um, you can be late just because your body's a little thrown off, so it'll, it'll start a little bit later, or you'll start maybe even earlier, stop, and then start again when you're supposed to have it, which is really weird. Um, another symptom would be spotting in between just because your body is a little confused. So once you get on the right track and you have a certain time you take it and you're really consistent and you don't forget again, then your body should be right back on track. Um, if you're like me, um, if you're taking birth control for like medical reasons, for example, I'm taking mine specifically because I'm really prone to getting cysts in my ovaries and it causes a lot of pain. So that's pretty much why I'm taking mine. And if that's, some, if that's any of you guys out there as well, then another symptom from skipping a pill too close to right before your period is also you might experience some pain because a cyst might already begin to form just because you're not, you're not on track with the pills and what they're doing for your body. So that would be another symptom is feeling some pain. Don't think the worst, think that you're like it's gonna hurt really bad from now on or anything like that because once you're back on track, it should shrink the cyst if that's what you guys have, then it'll go right back to normal as well. And the last thing, if you don't really know anything about birth control and you're watching this video to see, just to learn more about birth control, um, if you are on the younger side, 15, 16, you don't want to exceed taking it over 10 years. You do have a long period of time to be able to take it. Your, um, your doctor will tell you approximately when they think you should get off of it. If you're starting a little bit older, then you may even not want to be on it shorter than that. Like if you're starting it now and you're 21, you may only want to take it for 3-4 years. Only because um, 
the more you take it, the more you're letting your body know, nope, not this month, nope, not this month. And after about 10 years, it's going to be really, really hard to have a kid. So if that's one of your goals is to have a family and to have children, then make sure you talk to your doctor about the specific birth control you're taking so that you don't exceed the amount of years you take it and then make it really hard for you to get pregnant when it's finally time for you. Well, that's it. That's just a couple of the basic things you guys should know when you miss a birth control. So if there's any other questions you guys have for me, feel free to DM me on my Instagram. I'd love to one-on-one -on -one talk to you guys or even make a video. I hope you guys have a great night and have a productive day tomorrow. Bye.